I know gender swapping iconic characters is a big no-no for some fans. It's an act more sinful than watching Fifty Shades of Grey with your family. But I guess that vile sin has just recently been committed by Marvel because they just casted Julia Garner to play a female Silver Surfer in the MCU's Fantastic Four movie. And if you don't know, her name is Shalabal and is the lover of the Silver Surfer many of us are probably used to. But as you would expect, people are losing their minds because we are not getting a male Silver Surfer. And to that, I say people need to relax and calm their snot. Casting a Silver Surfer wasn't unexpected, yes, but was it an awful idea? Definitely not, and there's a reason for that. Because listen, we all know that the MCU takes place on Earth 616, and we already know that the new Fantastic Four movie is taking place in an alternate universe. And even though there are multiple variations of Silver Surfer, the comics have always had two organic and original versions of the Silver Surfer. Similar to how the original Spider-Man is Peter Parker, but besides the point, the originating surfers are Nori Rad, the male 616 Silver Surfer, and Shala Ball, the Earth 9997 Silver Surfer. And since this movie is not taking place on Earth 616, it wouldn't make sense to have the male Silver Surfer because he doesn't even exist in that universe. So if you look at it from the perspective of the comics, this makes sense. And the likelihood of us getting a male Silver Surfer is still there because if his lover exists in the MCU, then obviously the male Surfer exists and we may see him in the future. But the point I'm trying to make is that this is not an actual gender swap because this is not going to be a replacement for the original Surfer. This is a completely different character with a completely different personality. And that's all I got to say about the nerd talk. I think I've made my case for why people need to relax and just drink some tea because once again, there's no reason to have the 616 Surfer if this movie is in a different universe and the Surfer that we are getting is a completely different character, not a replacement. So just allow it to happen and let Marvel cook because they always know what they're doing when it comes to casting actors. Who, speaking of which, let's talk about the actor playing Surfer and that's of course Julia Garner. Now you may not know who she is, which is fair. She hasn't done anything that has taken the world by storm except for one thing and that's the TV show that she was a part of called Ozark. And the reason why this is a big deal is because Julia Garner collected three damn Emmys for that TV show. That's right, three Emmys before she was even 30 years old. Like this woman beat up people like Euphoria Sydney Sweeney, Game of Thrones' Sophie Turner, and she even beat out Big Little Liza's Meryl Streep, which is all insane. And she's now moved on from TV and is trying to make a name for herself in movies and is doing a pretty decent job at that with her great performance in the Royal Hotel. So this casting is deserved. This is elite. This is a more than capable actor to take on this role that, again, is now replacing the traditional Silver Surfer. And she will surely make this character a fan favorite amongst everyone who watches her. But yeah, that's it.